Hey everyone, so today I am finally sharing my wavy hair routine. This is another overnight, really simple routine, perfect for anyone who has really early mornings. The best part is we are manipulating our curl pattern without using any heat, so this is a damage-free way to get your curls to turn into waves. Good morning, we are now in the next day, and my hair likes to part on this side, so in order to get some more volume I, and to kind of flatten out the bangs a little bit and make them slightly less curly, I go ahead and just tuck them behind the opposite ears. So the reason I don't put any curl products in the night before is because we don't want anything that's going to encourage more of a curl pattern. If anything, we are trying to stretch it out a bit. So this is what we have right now. So I mean, this already looks pretty good in my opinion. It's a very effortless, kind of undone style, which I have been obsessed with lately. But we are gonna want to use some products now to kind of reduce any frizz from happening and just kind of hold the curl pattern that we have stretched out because if your hair is anything like mine it will start to kind of spring up a little bit throughout the day so the biggest thing when choosing products is you want to make sure that they're not going to make your hair crunchy you want that very soft feeling to be intact and a few products that I really like for this are the Curlsmith Hold Me Softly Style Balm. I use a very little bit of this. It helps a lot with frizz and the overall softness of your hair. And then to set that, I like to use the Not Your Mother's Blue Sea Kale and Pure Coconut Water. I feel like I've been talking about this so much lately, but it really is an amazing product and there are so many different uses for it. So we'll start off with the Curlsmith. And like I said, just really a small amount. And I'm going to slide this over the hair and really just want to focus this on the ends. Then we'll go in with the mousse and again doing the same thing, just sliding this over the entirety of the hair. And then I'll take a bit more of this and kind of just work it right into the roots. And then this part is totally optional, but sometimes I'll take a little bit of the Whey Texturizing Spray and just kind of lift my hair up. And also spray some of this at the ends. When I'm done applying the product to my hair, I actually like to go ahead and put it back in a braid and I'll leave it styled like this while I'm getting dressed, while I'm you know finishing up getting ready, while I'm driving to work. And this just helps to reinforce the wave even more. Now that we have the products in our hair, I feel like it's gonna mold a bit better. So this is just an additional 30 minutes of putting my braid in after the products. Obviously, if you have like a longer commute or you wanna leave it in for longer, you can, but I just wanna show you guys what this looks like. You can see we definitely have more of a wave now than we did earlier. The great thing about this style is that as you go on into second, third, even fourth day, your hair is going to get more wavy and it just is going to look even more lived in and even more undone and effortless and I absolutely love this. It is so easy. I can actually go longer without washing when my hair is wavy as opposed to curly because once it's curly and it starts to get undone, it doesn't look as good, but with this, the more undone it gets, the better it looks, in my opinion. So that is everything I do to achieve my wavy hair. I've been really loving these simpler routines lately, so I'm going to keep experimenting with them and try to find new ways to cut down on styling. If you guys recreate this, be sure to tag me on Instagram. I love seeing how your styles turn out, and you all seriously have the most amazing hair. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. I hope you guys have an amazing day, an amazing rest of your week, and I will see you guys soon. Thank you.